to how do you price your your coaching sessions your program how do you go about figuring out the right price for it so with you very Pratip. good question, very okay. good question. <laughs> yeah good question <laughs> yes so uh, to figure out the right pricing so gt i'll tell you in 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 a language that you will understand you should always test it out okay <laughs> just like startups are testing out the the products pricing is the thing you should always be testing out okay and especially uh, if you're targeting indian crowd and then again so you, as uh, shrikan said you should know your target market well so if you're targeting someone who is a ceo and above then you can afford to charge high but yeah if you're char charging someone who's you know at a middle management position then definitely you should keep somewhat limited rates then mm -hmm. next level is uh don't always keep one rate again so you need to have your funnels mm -hmm. defined so it's like level one or level two or level three so a person should should take that step with you and then that person should be able to pay you more you really can't expect uh, you know if you are not famous you can't expect that person will pay you more mm -hmm. so especially online a uh, lot of entry level products uh, are, are cheaper i'll i'll put a price range to it less than 5000 rupees okay so again that also depends on a target market i have seen products as less as 99 rupees also and they work phenomenally well right and again, you should put only that much amount of matter into it. You should not feel that, yes, it's your life's work and you're selling it for 99 mm -hmm. rupees. Okay. But yeah, so if, if you have priced your funnel right, so you can start from as low as 200, 300 bucks just to cover your marketing cost. Right. So, uh, okay, I, I'll talk more in a uh, as in cost basis. So <coughs> let's say you are spending okay, uh, 200 rupees and you got one person on your webinar okay and uh, let's say you have 50 attendees okay so 50 into 200 comes to 10000 rupees right if uh, 10 people buy okay. so let's say 20 percent yes so out of 50 if 10 people buy and uh, you sell a 500 rupees product so 10 into 500 becomes 5000 okay and you are break even roughly so if you're, if you're spending so again so uh, so uh, you need to consider your marketing costs also to recover that okay so, so that's it should how, be that's aligned with your marketing uh, with your yes. uh, so cost essentially you should you should uh, uh, keep it in mind that okay what's your cost and then you should think Price, about yes. the pricing okay so uh, I, I like to add one more yeah. thing. So even as, even as you know freelancers, what we do is uh, the pricing that we calculate is how much money we need to live, and then we divide it by number of days we want to work, and that is our own internal pricing. That's how we charge, right? So similarly, if you are spending something, so just to cover that cost, you need to have that level one of product. Okay. Entry level. Uh, your your comment, Shrikant. Okay, I have uh, I have a very different pricing strategy. Okay, <laughs> so one of my coaches um, who used to coach me mentioned to me some time ago. This was about ten years ago. He said that ten percent of the income that you make should be invested in you. Okay, not in invested in anything else in your own personal development. I go by that rule. So I said, okay, um, I just take a price. Okay, I, I have I, I can just tell the price that I am doing the the, the, the person twelve week uh, group coaching program. It's at it's at seventy five thousand rupees per participant, right? So if I'm looking at somebody to invest seventy five thousand rupees, okay, that's ten percent of their income. So I'm looking at somebody who is at least making about eight to ten lakhs per annum. So that's my target audience, right? I just fix my target audience, and then in this money that they are going to invest what is the i have to provide them twice the value so right the twice the value it has to come by the way that the information that i'm going to share with them right and the value that i'm going to bring them for for them during those group coaching sessions and the one-on-one -on -one session so when they invest that money they should know that hey i know that i'm going to 
take twice of the amount that I'm going to spend. So that's not going to happen in the end of the 12th week, at least by six months or end of the year. Uh, end of, so three months is an investment that they made for the program. By end of the year, they would have seen uh, you know, twice the value of the program, right? So I make that when I do my introduction calls, actually I break the cost and show it to them. I show it to them, right? And uh, a couple of my uh, coaches uh, who are known to me, they wanted to be part of my first introduction call. I said, they said it blew their mind. They couldn't believe that I can be so transparent, right? And uh, that's it. So uh, I think uh, so. And also everything goes by a ratio, right? So I I also was told you know some time ago when I uh, was attending a program, you talk to ten people, three people will sign up. Go by that, right? And uh, you, if if you get the right people, so that ten people may become five people, six people, seven people. So that's where you need to target the audience, and that is what we need to figure out, right? So pricing is something. <laughs> it's go go with your gut. <laughs> oh, that's all I can say. Uh, no, uh, the formula which you gave really. Yeah, if you have a have a target audience in mind, I mean, ten percent of it. Yes, I mean that's that's that pretty much makes sense. Of course, you know, the target audience is right here. Should click. Uh, what about you, uh, Vanna? Well, I said I'm not good in marketing. The, another thing that I've, that was a negative belief system I have had. Now I'm becoming very good in marketing because I've. My my affirmations. I'm a deep. I'm a marketing diva. I'm a marketing diva. <laughs> so similarly, I had um, a negative coding that I cannot manage finances. I don't know. I don't know how to ask for money. It it was my negative negative affirmation that I had in my head. So what I, how I started was uh, introductory course. I gave very basic, very basic as you know for the course from two thousand. Uh, and I circulated it all on the WhatsApp group, but I didn't give that two thousand cost to the the people who are really earning well. To for them, I made a separate message where I changed the costing to twenty five thousand. So because those people already those that those people who are who are like really well off, they know that Vandana is a great speaker. Vandana Vandana speaks. Brilliantly, and if she's giving a program to us, we will definitely become brilliant speakers. So the small cost ad got me a lot of people who could afford that, you know, afford that just that two thousand one one thousand nine hundred ninety nine price. And uh, the, the 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 one that I sent it to the people who were a little more influential with more kind of in income. They agreed to sign up at the twenty-five thousand without even, you know, uh, asking for a bargain or a, you know, say, can you please reduce it or anything? No, nothing. For them, in twenty-five thousand, if they can become, can I? Their first question was, can I speak as brilliantly as you? I said definitely. Take you two years, but you will. After this course, at least you will know where you're going wrong. You will start correcting yourself. You will have tools and tips in your hands. So I said. Uh, So, so they were willing to. It was it was hardly an investment. It was just an investment of twenty five thousand for them. There's nothing. So, uh, I I see the person can afford it or not. As Atul was saying, I see the person can afford it or not. And sometimes, um, you know, people will come randomly from uh, Facebook or Insta, and if they if I would offer them seven thousand nine hundred ninety nine, they would now accept that. They would find even that expensive. So then I would make. I would say no. I have I have this I have this feeling that if I have to reduce the price and help that person out, I will do it because I want to help that girl because she wants to learn from nobody else but me. So I will not hold on to the thinking. No, 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 no. I am going to charge this much. That's it. Okay. Go to uh, Insta Mojo. Apply this code. You will get it. Wow. So, so I do this because because I see that girl has potential or that boy has potential. Only thing the person needs to. Be a good and, and they, are, they are very good in uh, communicating certain things, but they are not able to speak it out. So I give them good discounts. So it's very flexible. So, so uh, this. Yeah. I, I'll just answer on uh, what Vandana said. I actually go, don't give a discount. I give them an easy payment options. Right. Okay. I say okay. If you can't pay this 75k upfront, I'm perfectly okay with that. Pay me one third of it right now, and then you tell me when you are going to pay the remaining. I'm not going to ask you. Wow. And you tell me, and you stick to it. The reason I want to do that is because I want them to take ownership. 
right mm-hmm. i don't uh, okay so everybody's got a so vandana has got a very uh, awesome approach in fact uh, i i i uh, very recently there's a there's a person who reached out to me she's she's about, she's in the mid 25 she wanted to do a one on one coaching program with me uh, for three months if it's a, if it's for a corporate executive i would have charged about 1.5 lakhs i gave a discount okay i gave a discount of 50% and said 25% 25000 you pay me now the remaining 50000 you take one year to pay me no problem wow. and you have to tell me when you will pay i'm okay with that but you have to pay me the entire amount. i'm not going to give a further discount yeah because the thing is if they uh, can i give that free maybe yes i can give it free okay but then if you give it free they don't value and if yeah, you yeah, value, no money will value it you right. have to know, okay, this is the this is the value that they are getting and they have to pay for it and you know one thing i would like to add out here that uh, you know uh, when i kept that budget of 2000 only for the course when i started it for the first few people who uh, sign up so the people who came for that from them only now they love the course so much they are referring people who can partner with me for marketing you know they found the course so brilliant they are telling their friends who are experts in digital marketing so why don't you tie up with ma'am she has such courses that will definitely help the whole world out there you know people uh, and and they were very simple people from navi mumbai from washi simple banker you know a, a banker who you know, maybe a teller at the bank they were very simple people so given at that cost help me get because and and you know and the marketing people that they are also getting referred to me are still struggling they want to make money they want to get into the revenue sharing thing because mm. when they when they, they, they fortunately for me if they google me they will find lakhs of pages on me yeah. so that credibility was there so then it made them feel that if we tie up with her probably the company and we make the company grow together and revenue sharing even we sure. will be earning a lot 